A softball team from Virginia came here to Nashville to win a few games this week. Instead, ended up losing their gear. Their trailer, filled with thousands of dollars worth of equipment, was stolen from their hotel. News 2's Miranda Whittington has more on how they were able to track down the trailer using social media and their continued search to find the missing equipment. Softball oh, brought girls from all over the country to Hendersonville <laughs> to play in this year's USSA Southeast National Championship. It was complete shock. Didn't know what to do. But all of that was put on hold when William Sane and his girls woke up Monday morning. Come out 7 o'clock the next morning, getting ready to go to get the festivities started for the end of the day, and the trailer's gone. In the middle of the night, someone stole their trailer from the Double Tree Suites off Atrium Way in Nashville. It's tough um, to see that stuff missing and know that you've got, uh, you know, these young ladies that are working very hard, inspiring to do well, and something like this happens to them. Saying is more than just upset, he's hurt. It gets me emotional, too. This is uh, a lot of time, a lot of years that goes into it. It's, it's frustrating. But after contacting Metro Nashville police, his wife started digging. The next day, she found the trailer being advertised for sale an hour and a half away in Hart County, Kentucky. Unfortunately, they showed pictures of the inside, everything on the inside, all the equipment, everything gone from it. Sane was able to drive up and get their trailer back. Uh, we had our tees, we had our bonnets, we had... But all the girls' equipment totaling to nearly $17,000 was taken. We spent about $3,500 buying equipment to try to get us to be able to participate in the tournament, be able to go through and move and do what we need to do. Do what we came down here to do is to play the, the sport we love, softball. And while their trip has started off rocky, Sane still believes they'll find all his girls' gear. Yeah, I have hope. I have hope. Um, you got to have hope. If you don't have hope, then it's a struggle. In Nashville, Miranda Whittington, News 2. Oh my word. Well, Sane says the Hart County Sheriff's Office was able to get in contact with the person who purchased the trailer so he could come and pick it up. We also did go and reach out to the Sheriff's Office for more details on this case. We're still waiting, though, to hear back on that.